justice had something had to be done because my children lost the father, I lost my husband. Widowed at the age of 25 years old, mother of two, Shalian Mangal, tries to hold back her tears. Her common-law husband, Randy Joseph, a construction worker, was stabbed to death by a woman following an altercation on Saturday. Everybody hurting right now. She says around 7 p.m. they took their children to her parents' home at House Trace, Lightbourne Road, Gasparillo. Joseph was sitting on a chair in the gallery when the woman arrived with three cutlers wielding men. By the time she crossed over the, the fence in the gallery, she, um, she take her. I, I, all I could have said, Brent, that's all I could have said. He could not get her from the couch because she was done already up on him, stabbing him. 29-year-old Joseph ran through the house, out the back door and collapsed in the grass. She said the ambulance took two hours to arrive. But by then, he was already dead. The last thing that I heard him said, well, he didn't even say it. When I left his head up, he was, mm, and I rest my head on his chest, and I hear one heartbeat, and that was the last. Mongol said the incident stemmed from an altercation Joseph had with a young man from the village at their home early in the day. She said her brother's home was also burned down during the fracas. He recalls how he tried to help him. All of I tried to break so you nigga like yesterday when this girl stabbing me. I could have get chopped in my head, my neck, all kind of thing. When I realized that, I just dressed back and grabbed them two little children. Adrian described Joseph as a nice person and a hard worker. He just want a little justice for my place and my brother. You know, and it's hard, boy. It's a life loss, boy. CNC3 News was told that a male suspect has since surrendered to the police. Sasha Wilson, CNC3 News.